Hi there and welcome back into my channel. I'm back again with a wee choice and continue to empty my bag of the items that I'll be using for Halloween crafts this year. They were from the range. And as you can see it's four different styles of key. No sorry, three, two different styles of key. We've just split them up. And there is two, four, six, eight in the packet. A cuddle bug in Boston folder. These are ancient, these Boston folders. I bought these in Boston folders, I think when the first green cuddle bug came out. So I've had them for a long time. And this dye goes with it. And what you do is you cut the dye out, you put it in there, you run it through the folder and it embosses it, embosses the eyes and the nose into it. So, that's that. They used to do sets like that years ago. I haven't seen them for a while. And there's a back one. I'm quite sure the embossing folder's in this bag for that one as well. So it has... And it's a good size, that. Here's some purple flowers I was gifted last year. Celebrate it. Doesn't say a make on it, just that celebrate it. Purple flowers, they'll go with the purple ribbons and things. And here is some more ribbon. It'll go in this box here. With that to the side. It just says boo on that ribbon there. So I'll put that in there. That's a ribbon. In here is some tiny lawn fawn things. I bought some lawn fawn stamps last year and I cut I stamped them all out and I cut them out using my scan and cut, which I have to say saved me such a lot of time. And I used some of them in my cards and some of them in pocket letters and things. Different witches and wee frogs and moons and things like that. But it's the column. The column takes the longest to do. So see if you've you've done them. Just keep them. It doesn't. I mean that's no cost me anything except space. Just to keep them for this year. And there's a lot of them there. If there wasn't a lot of them, I would have probably abandoned them. But there's enough there to make a good few cards or a good few projects this year. Oh, jings. You can tell the weather's changing. People are moaning and groaning about the aches and pains again. So that's some stamped images. I'll put them in my wee tub as an embellishment. So well, keeps everything together. Some pearls, and they're just normal bling. They came, they were 69 pence from the range, these ones. And these stars, I have to say, these stars were brilliant for Halloween last year. I used them in pocket letters, and I made some light up cards and some light up pocket letters. So the stars are really worth it if you get them. And obviously you can colour them with your marker pens as well. So. I think they were from, they were either from the range or the pound shop, those ones. I don't rightly remember. That's the trouble with keeping things you don't remember. Um, that's just some black embroidery floss, so that's handy to keep. And here's some of that orange lace. You know, so that'll go in this tub as well. And as I say, it looks like a wee bit, but sometimes a wee bit's just all you need. That just makes your project sometimes. I'll put that in there. And this is one of the skulls that I showed you earlier on. And see that? That's what it was like, and that's what I done with it, just with some ink. I just shaded it out and made it look a wee bit different, so I've kept that one there. 
I must have kept that as an idea. Just here's a project that I made last year. Jings, I put it away whole, complete. So it was like a wee match book card, and as you can see in there, it's got the Rickerack ribbon, the wee tickets that I showed you that I printed out, a stamp, and some of my die cuts, and all I done was. Make a wee match book cover. No, these will need to get out, I think. Well, I don't think. I know they will. They probably are still in date, but I'm no risk it for a biscuit, eh? It was obviously keeping the idea, and I never thought to take the sweets out. Oh, there you are. 16th of the 3rd, 20. So they don't get out a date to next year. But I don't know that I would risk it. So that was an idea. And they're really simple and we do loads at Halloween. Every year we do a hundred or more gift bags for the children. Round about and we're always busy. One of the years I made about 150 bags and they were gone in less than an hour. So we try to limit it now to a hundred bags. Because we think that's more than enough. And some of our other neighbours will do, you know, they just like to do some bags and they maybe do 20 bags or something like that. And they don't get anybody that goes to their door. But I had a video on last year where I was decorating our house, or the house was all decorated. And my family were standing outside all dressed up. So I think that's why we get rid of most of our stuff. These two rolls of ribbon were in the pound bit and Michael's, I remember that. And you get quite a lot on it, you know, there's how many is on that? Three yards, 2.7 metres. So that will go in here with the ribbons. And for those of you that don't remember, look at this, what's this? Tic Tacs. And they are definitely out of date, so bent. Right, what have we got in here? Ribbons for the tub. Now we scrap a ribbon. This will be loads of different wee. Oh, I know what this is. This is the wee things that I put in my shakers. My slices. I'll pull it up so she can see them. Look, can you see them? Where is my camera? There it is. Wee tiny ghosts. That's ghosts, and I have bats, that's tiny bats, and these are can you see that? They're not going to focus, I don't think. Be tiny pumpkins, anyway. And I've got monster eyes, cats, white with bats, pumpkin slices, devil heads, skull and crossbones, and another wee monster head. Yeah. And they're great for shakers. Either in your cards or just an embellishment. If you look back, you'll see I've done some projects with them last year as well. But they're time consuming to do, so that's why I keep whatever I have left of them. Because they're quite time consuming. And there. Yeah.
And I'm out here because there is an old firm football match on today. And I'm not watching it. Right, there's a skull. These skulls here, I think you get about half a dozen or so in the pound shop. Again, you look at them and go, what would I do with that? But they're, they are, they're handy for crafting, I have to say. I use quite a lot of them. These ribbons here, these ribbons are fantastic. I was gifted these last year in a swap. And as you can see, they are really quite long. I would say that's at least a metre in length. And each one of them is a different ribbon. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16 different kinds of ribbon in that. And that's one of the best things I've ever been gifted. I use that quite a lot. Again, here's different types of that confetti. And I have sequins in the bottom. It's purple sequins. Kind of pinky purple. And that's quite handy as well. Put the sequins in the bottom one here. Sequins, my beads for shakers, some crime scene do not cross ribbon. I had to put them in this wee tub here because they're just wee bits. And white glass beads, they're great for shakers because they make a good noise, those. I'll put these on the other side. So they do, your sequins and that are good for shakers, but see if you put a wee glass bead in, they do make good noises. Just put these in here, for quickness. I was looking for that, I've been looking for that everywhere, I didn't know it was in there. Right, as you can see there, that's just some pom-poms, some coloured pom-poms. -pom -pom and some pink sequins again. I had a thing for sequins last year and I bought hundreds and hundreds of it, so I have got quite a bit of it. And that there is my aluminous embossing powder and I've been looking everywhere for that. Didn't even think that it would be in with the Halloween. For some strange reason I thought it would be in with embossing powders, but there you go. That's my dyslexic brain. And I am dyslexic before I get any complaints at anybody saying that I'm slagging MD off because I certainly am not. There's different kinds of gems and I've got paper clips and bulldog clips, the wee tiny pegs, they're all in there. That's just a collection of things that will make ephemera with. I say it's quite handy to keep them all together and I never used to store things like this I used to just have like a drawer for bling and then I would have a, a space for all my ribbon and you know and that's the way I stored it and it was a nuisance because I kept having to look through everything to find everything more of this I've got loads and loads of that loads of different kinds of it though and this is a different colour of that stuff. I don't even remember if it, there's no make on it and I haven't kept a make. And I haven't opened this one yet, but it was an absolutely fantastic buy. The lady that got it had got a load of those four pound bags that you get from Michael's, you know, the four pound grab bags. The lady had got loads of them, loads of them. And she gifted me some of the items out of them, which I was really... Well, she didn't gift them, them, we swapped. We actually done a swap. Again, if you look back in the videos, you'll find that. This is things that I got in swaps last year. This was an embellished box, and I'm almost 100% positive this one came from... I think it might have came from Avril. Popsy's Ribbon and Lace. And if it didn't, it came from... Crafty Sue Little Beginner and I've used a load of stuff out of it because there was loads and loads and loads of stuff 
and I've got some bits left there. I did take the top off it though because if somebody sends me something, I keep them and I'll show you them if you want. If you want to see them, I can show you how I store my ATC cards and pocket letters and things like that that I had. This is a sample of an embellishment box that I done last year. There's one of my wee cards in there, a wee boo card. And there is a load of different sequins in it, some die cuts, some stamps, some different googly eyes. There's three pairs of googly eyes in there. Uh, a collection of the buttons. And there's other buttons there. That was a wee purple bit. It's got beads and a uh, tassel. And buttons all purple. And a white and black and some washi tape. And some of the wee tiny spiders and pumpkins. And black paper clips. More buttons, some different kinds of ribbon, some twine, some normal buttons, some great orange normal buttons and some happy Halloween things in the back. So that's just an example of one of my embellishment boxes to last year. So there you go. Just a wee look at one of the projects. I don't know what projects I'm going to make for this year because I really haven't thought about it yet. Lovely rainbow sequins. But it's good colours for the shakers. This is my spare ones of these. I usually take these ones into the school because the children get glitter and glue and things like that on them. Although these ones look pretty clean actually. I don't know that I'll obtain these ones into the school. But that's normally if I've got extras and leftovers, that's where I put them. Or if I've got enough or something, I put them in wee tubs or wee bags and I take them away with me. The schools are always begging for... No begging, that's the wrong word, that's terrible. They're always in need. Always in need of craft, craft items. If you have any spare craft items you would like to donate to school, give me a shout and we'll get in touch and get that done. This is die cuts here and it's witches legs and I do have the die for that. This is witches legs and spiders in there. See that? See the wee tiny spiders? Right, and I decorate them up. I usually cut them in black I have to say. And I decorate them up with Sakura glitter pens. And there was a wee foxy. That was a, a sticker pack that I got last year. This paint here. I absolutely love this paint. This is luminous paint. I've had that for a lot of years. But we've got a white garden wall all the way around our garden. And just roughly about this time of the year. I'll go out and I'll start painting luminous eyes. Or I'll paint a scene and I'll put. A luminous moon in the background so that it looks like maybe silhouettes through the day but at night you see the eyes and the clouds and the moons and I know I'm not talking to him but can I say can I help it can't help it it's a time it did a couple of minutes yet this is some cutter parts that I was gifted I'm sure this was Chris L.A. that gifted me these. If it wasn't, I apologise in advance, but I think it was Krista. I've had quite a load of stuff for Krista as well, and I absolutely am thoroughly appreciative of it. Krista does some fantastic haul videos. Our name here on YouTube is Crafty Kitty. Go over and have a look. She does. She makes some amazing cake stands, but her whole videos, I just don't believe the prices. We definitely live in rip off Britain. It's unbelievable the things that she gets and the cheap, cheap prices that she gets is amazing. And it just makes me so want to go to Canada and visit her. But it would need to be on a shopping holiday. And all of this next handful were gifted, and they were all gifted from America. 
and it's a mixture from Krista, who was Crafty Kitty, and from Rhonda Lee. So the Jo Lee's recollections, I made a mould out of them. It was that frog I tried last year. I made a mould out of them and I made my own embellishments for that as well. That was a... I didn't say, it's just a wee felt 3D thing. And I might use these this year. Cane Company, I absolutely love Cane Company. When I worked in the nurseries and when I done a load of volunteering in the nursery, the nursery teacher bought me Cane Co pads and it's to make gift boxes and party cones and Christmas decorations and they were brilliant. So I used them, I've already used a full packet of them so I've only got, I've used one out of that there, sorry. Handmade glitter stickers. And I'll get to use the rest of these this year because I get such a lot of them. I used a load of them last year. You can see here I've had a wee, I've had a go at these. I've used some of these in my projects. And it's these puffy stickers. And that's the alien ones. And they're such a handy thing to gift these stickers because they're lightweight and they don't cost anything hardly to post these are puffy stickers as well and i like the puffy stickers better than the flat ones i don't know why maybe it's because there's a wee bit of dimension in them but i definitely like the puffy stickers i do love these i have to say and i did use a lot of them there's one that that there see that's where that one came from in fact i think it's that exact one there I do use a lot of them and I tend to use these on things that I'm posting because they're flat. But for personal use, I just love the puffy, puffy stickers. And the kids love the puffy stickers. And here's more of these ones. I'm not sure if I was gifted this one or not or if I bought that one either. It would have been the range I would have thought. But I'm not 100% sure where that one came from. And again, they're just great wee embellishments to use in your in these. I oh, love these. And I had a couple of packets of these, and I've used quite a lot of them. So this is only what I've got left. I used a load of these spiders because I had. I think it was Rhonda Lee had given me a load of these spiders as well. And I've used one of these, but I've used two or three packets of these last year. And as I say, this is all I've got left of them. So I'll need to cherish them. That's just some die cuts that I've had. That I've done myself. Some die cuts and printouts. I used them on these things here, remember? On my bottle caps. If you look back, you'll see the videos. And if not, they, in fact, there you go. Perfection. These two are kind of... Oh, well, it's magnets. That's why they're stuck together. That's one of the bottle caps that I've done with those printouts and I made it into a bottle a I... <sighs> bottle cap charm, sorry I'm having one of those days. This one's got magnets in the back as you can see, that's why they were stuck together. That's a nautical theme one but yep I had a ball making them last year. If you can't find the video or don't want to go and look, give me a shout and I'll make you some. Online anyway, and I'll show you how I've done it. Right, I'm going to stop you there, love yous and leave yous, and say goodbye for this video. There's only one more to go, so I'll be back in a minute. Bye!